Welcome. So today we're going to be drawing birds. Um, and so what you'll need is a plain white slice of paper, which you have in your magic kit. Um, your pencils, pencil or pencils and your image of an American Robin. So um, yeah, as we work for these couple weeks um, in all different artistic disciplines and we look for our voice, I actually wanted to share with you the voice of these American Robins. So I'm gonna play for you some. Um, so here is an American Robin as recorded in Alaska. So this is an Alaskan American Robin. Mm. So this one is an American Robin as recorded in California. Mm. I love that one too. And this is a call that was recorded in New York. Hmm. Yeah, so just wanted to share with you some of her voice um, before we get started on the demo. All right, here we go. All right, just gonna get set up here. Okay, here we go. Let's see a little bit. So this is a little tricky because I'm working upside down so that you could see. I'm working my camera here. All right, so. Um, okay, so what I like to do first is figure out where on this page, on this surface, I'd like my robin to be. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this edge here and have her grounded. So she'll just kind of be standing on the ground here. And one of the first things I like to do is to actually trace with my finger so that I can kind of get a feel of where she will be sitting. So um, here's the legs and then maybe the tail. And then I see the belly here, and the head, and the back of the wing. So I kind of like that, right? So where did I have that? Here's the tail, and here's the legs. Okay, so that's about where it's at. Um, I'm going to go back to this image. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that in a little bit while I have this idea, right? So if this is the belly that I'm seeing here, um, we want to break down this bird into different shapes, right? So let's simplify for a minute just to kind of get the skeleton down. So here's the legs that I have. I'm actually going to have her grounded. So the feet are going to be different. In here, they're kind of gripping on to, um, she's gripping onto the uh, branch or the the wood, the log, um, but I'm gonna have her, it's about this kind of on the ground. So these feet are gonna be different. So all I've done is really just kind of scribble. I mean, it's really scribbly. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna see, find this shape. And it's, um, it's helpful if I trace with my finger as I'm drawing with a pencil, okay? So I see the belly's kind of flat. It's not totally round. And then right as it gets to this back leg, it kind of wraps around, right? Okay, so now I'm looking at this, this body. It's kind of a bean, a bean <laughs> shape. Very cute, actually. <laughs> so maybe a little more elongated, right? And we could always, this is just a loose sketch for now. So um, yeah, a little elongated, a little bean, a little edamame bean. Okay, and then I have the tail. So it kind of starts right under these, 
this uh, right alongside this foot right here. So I'm going to come up here. Okay, so there's a tail. This is just generally. Um, I'm going to come back around this little bean um, and find the head. So the head is a little bit longer. It's not totally round. So I'm going to draw that little head. I have a little beak sticking out here, a little lower, I think. Yeah, a little lower. And then this kind of connects to the back of the neck and it becomes the wing, which comes to a little point right above the tail. And I'm gonna wrap that wing around, right? There's a space between the wing and this black part of the head. This comes down, the breast, and then I could, so this is the general shape of the bird. Um, I am going to go back uh, and actually just kind of define everything, right? We're just getting the skeleton here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and make measurements. So I'm gonna put this aside, and I'm gonna look at these different measurements, right? I'm gonna use this leg as a tool. That's gonna be my measurement tool, and I'm just gonna use my pencil to do that. So from the base of the leg to where it connects is this long, see that? Okay, so this is my measurement. I'm gonna move that around and find different places um, where I can use that same measurement. Okay, so here's foot to uh, top of leg. That's equivalent to this outer leg. Can you see? <laughs> this outer leg to this little tuft right here. So I'm gonna draw that mark. So now this length is the same as this length. Actually it was a little bit, a little bit shorter than that. Yeah, okay. So this length is the same as this length. Okay, I'm gonna keep this length, right? I'm gonna keep my finger here and I'm gonna move it around and I find, and you'll find points everywhere. Um, inside and the underneath the underside of the tail to the base of the tail that's another point so i'm gonna mark this so i have one measurement two measurements three okay take that same measurement here and i'm going to move it around and i'm finding that the bottom of where this black starts to maybe the kind of the top of the head, there's another measurement. So now all of these are equivalent. And then I have another measurement of the eye to the tip of the beak, the outside of the eye to the tip of the beak. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, measurements I can use to help guide me through the drawing. Okay, so let's return to this. Okay, so I have my shape. Um, okay, so I'm going to check on those measurements actually. So here's leg I actually have, I'm gonna push this up because if you see, it's not just the leg, the leg has a little top part of it that connects to the bird. So now it's shifting everything. And because it's a loose sketch, we're totally fine with that. So the, the name of the game is not to make a masterpiece as much as it's to study what we are observing. Uh, whether it's ourselves or an image, um, concept. Yeah, so everything is going to get pushed up. My bad, y'all. 
It's okay. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that measurement we use, this helpful measurement. So we got a measurement from the leg to the base is equal to the same leg to this little uh, tuft part, like where that kind of starts curving up. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that. And now I can kind of move everything up. Here's that little tuft. I'm gonna follow this line. Oh yeah, this is all off. <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. Okay, back to my measurement. Handy dandy leg. Um, I have a curve here. I'm just gonna keep my finger on that. And here is from the base of the tail to the tip of the tail. So here we go. Okay, and then it follows it up. It's kind of a square tail. Um, and then that's kind of where the wing begins. Okay, I'm gonna follow that wing, which is going to change because it looks like all of this is not even, um, it's not even proportional. But what it did was it helped me map where the bird is, right? Okay, so I get to the top of the, oh wait, I'm gonna come back down here. I'm gonna follow this shape around, close it up because that's where the head begins. And here we find this little black head. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. And now I see the shape. See this shape right here? It comes around and then it cuts. It's got that little corner where, oh shoot, is that the head? Oh, is it lighting or is it, okay. So it's got this little corner here where the orange comes to a corner and then it wraps around the wing. I'm gonna look at that and respond to that. So here's where it comes around, this little corner, and it wraps into the wing. Okay, so I got this wing, and there's a space between the orange and the contour. So the contour is this outline, right? Like the silhouette. So I'm gonna leave that space and uh, come down and finish the little wing. Okay, so now, usually I draw the head first, but it's so funny because I'm, I'm drawing this upside down, so it's like <laughs> drawing the feet first. Okay, so now I have another measurement. Yay! Okay, from the tip of the top of the head, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing like theater, the tip of the top of the tip of the top. The tip of the head to the back of the neck Um, is equivalent, I'm just marking this back of the neck right here, um, is equivalent to the leg. There's our measurement again. Okay, so this will tell me that's where the, the kind of top of the head is. Um, again, this is not precision um, as much as it's a study. I think the study is the important part of the, um, okay, drawing in the beak now, uh, the important part of the process. Um, the beautiful artwork is the byproduct of that process. When we put our heart into it, when we ruminate on these things, you know, um, that's, it makes for beautiful work because we put so much heart in it. So, if we just studying this bird, the byproduct is the beautiful drawing. <laughs> um, and then of course, because art is subjective, uh, beauty, okay, here's another, um, yeah, beauty is defined differently by everyone. So, okay, so here's the leg, there's a, the other measurement, and this measures from the tip of the beak to the outside of the eye. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know, that doesn't quite look right, but I measured it. So I'm gonna trust in my, 
and my original measurement. So there's the eyeball. Okay, so we kind of got the bird. We kind of got it. It looks a little skinny now that I'm looking up the screen. Um, so maybe I end up adding some meat. You know, maybe the wing needs to come out like a little bit rounder. Yeah, even that made a difference. Okay, but we'll come back. So I'm gonna fill in this eye. The eyes are my favorite part. If you leave a little white speck and color it in, it really allows light to shine inside the eye. Aww, already come into life, little bird. Okay, so I see some white. Okay, so now I'm gonna respond to shade. Um, I'm gonna focus on the darks first, right? So the shadows. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and highlight. Okay, so now we kind of have the structure, right? We have her structure. And we are gonna be using the eraser as medium. All right, just gonna close that out. Okay, <laughs> resuming. All right, so um, let's look at where the darkest darks are. Okay, so we see the eye, this entire head right here, the sweet little head. We see the bottom of the wing and it kind of filters through the feathers. We see some dark shadows there. Underneath where the tail begins and the tail is definitely one of the darker shadows. And then we have this leg that's fully in shadow and this leg that's partially in shadow. And then the underbelly, right? You can, even though it's orange and it's not like this dark brown black that we see, um, you can kind of still see the difference between this area and this area. So here's the highlight, here's the shadow. Right now, we're gonna focus on the shadow. So I'm gonna come back, we already have our eye done. Okay, um, I see white around the eye. So I'm going to leave the white of the paper and I will trace these little areas that I'm working on so you can follow if you need. Okay, so I've just outlined where the white is. And I see that, see the area closer to the beak, how it's lighter than the rest of, and this is observation, right? So the observation is an art in itself. Because <laughs> um, it's really hard uh, to distinguish between what you actually see and what we want to see. Um, so here is the top of the head that's a little lighter because that's where the light reflects. And then we have this like darker area down here. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to lightly color that area and then I'm gonna jump into the shadow of it. So I see that the shadow is kind of between the beak and the eye, keeping in mind these little white areas. So I'm gonna work around those white areas. And I like kind of like the jagged kind of scribbly quality. And the way we're gonna approach this is to keep, so for those of you who have pets, you know how when you pet your cat or dog or ferret or skunk or whatever furry friend you have? Um, I don't know if it matters actually. I think all animals hair, yeah. Huh, amazing. Okay, yeah, so animal hair, um, starts from the head, right? Like when you pet your dogs or cats, um, you start from the head and then the hair grows from the head and then down the, the back of the neck and then down the body and then the tail, right? It ends at the tail. So that's the movement that we're gonna keep our pencil, right? We're gonna follow the movement of how these feathers grow, much like how your furry friends um, hair grows. Okay, so back to the shadows. Here we go. Trying to make time here. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna follow that, see how I'm following. I'm kind of scribbling. Um, and kind of notice how you're holding your pencil. If you hold it down here, you get a lot of control. But if you hold it all the way up here, you get to be loose. And I think it makes for really beautiful marks. You know, you can kind of just dance around with it. 
and take, <laughs> take it a little less seriously. Um, so I'm gonna follow this black shape here and um, I'm seeing the black come right under the beak. Yeah, here it is. Okay, and then maybe on the outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I might change my, I've been scribbling, but now I think I'm gonna change because I see all these little feathers um, down here, like the little black, it gets, it kind of um, gets dappled into the white. So I'm gonna just kind of copy that. Define the beak a little bit here. It's got a little round bill. Okay, and I can always come to that. And then it goes back to black. So I'm gonna to respond to that. This is about um, observing and responding. Again, the marks are following the growth pattern of the feathers. Okay, so there's a little beak right there. All right, okay, so we got the head. So now, um, I think I'm gonna work down, this this edge right here is a little sharp, right? I mean, it doesn't really, so I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Um, this is the gray area. Just kind of soften that. I love the sound of the pencil. A little lighter. Okay, now here we come to the feathers. It's this movement, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, connect with the shadows, because that's what we're doing right now. But then I see shadows just kind of coming up in shape. See how they just kind of do that? Yeah, so I'm gonna stick with that. And then they get kind of lighter, right? As they move up. And I'm being really loose with it, which is feels great. <laughs> and then it softens up. Okay, so now I have the wing. Okay, I'm gonna follow that shadow. Here's the end of the orange area, the golden or the um, orange breast of the robin. And I see some shapes here from the undertail and I'm just gonna respond to that. So when you see something, Respond, oh, there's a shadow. Respond, oh, there's a light area. Respond. Okay, I'm gonna color that shadow in. And that tail looks a little bit thick. So I'm gonna just use my pencil to kind of soften that and like thin it out a little bit. Okay, so now to the breast. Okay, so we have, remember, this light area, the highlight, it gets a little bit more mid-tone here, and then under here is like the darker area. So let's do that. We have that little tuft at the bottom. So focusing on the shadow here, focusing on the shadow. And then it kind of comes, oh, and my marks are getting really loose. Okay, so now I've met the wing. I'm gonna darken that even more because the contrast is what really gives it life. Contrast in, um, in light and shadow is really what forms, what gives the form um, to the object, right? So I'm gonna do that. Ooh, look at that, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, now my hand is just dancing. I'm like totally warmed up now. Okay, so see how these feathers are? It's kind of like modeled, um, M-O-T-T-L-E-D, model, or uh, what was that other word I used? <laughs> Dappled, patched. Um, I'm gonna do that, because I like that pattern, so I'm gonna respond to that. I mean, there's no spots or anything on the robin, but I like this kind of uneven, way that the light is kind of working on it. So I'm gonna do that. Keep in mind the shadow. So these are actually darker little spots. Then, and then here's some light. Darker little spots. This wing feels a little bit rigid. So I'm gonna use my eraser to kind of blend it a little bit and then come back to it. 
soften it up a little bit. Yeah. Oops. Okay. And wrap around. This is kind of like a mid-tone again. And then we got ourselves this highlight here. Okay, so now that we have, how's that looking? Oh, that's looking all right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the feet, kind of define that a little bit. I mean, the feet are kind of easy. Look how scribble is. Because uh, they're just kind of sticks and scribble. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna darken. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go back light and dark. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back and highlight. So I'm gonna use my eraser here. And if you look at the bird, where are the, the lights? Where are the highlights? Where's the white at? So what I see is the tip of the, the top of the beak, underneath the beak right here in this little dappled area around the eye, which we preserved, the back of the neck, a little bit of that orange area underneath the feathers. And we actually have some highlights here on the feathers. Um, yeah, and then in this little area here. So just noticing that, right? I'm gonna start from the head to the tail and actually work my way down as if we were, you know, uh, heading it. So here, top of the beak, um, we have, I'm gonna just erase some of this area here underneath. Um, and it's very subtle, you know, you're not gonna take it all off, but it's gonna, it's gonna blend too. Uh, so the erasers are great. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of shape this little area here, the back of the neck, and then soften that. Come up here, and then I'm gonna dapple with my eraser the same way as I did with my pencil. I noticed this week during workshops that sometimes my speech patterns uh, sync up with um, the way that I'm mark making. Learning a lot about myself. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna darken that shadow. Okay. So I'm gonna go back and here's another highlight. So I'm gonna kind of lighten that up and then you know, do that. And then I'm gonna come underneath the tail, do some of that. Um, and some more of these little feathers, these white kind of highlights to kind of break up that line. That was like a really severe line, so. Yeah, there we go. Softened it up a little bit. Yeah. So I think I had too much coffee. I'm like flipping my pencil around. Yeah. So there you go. And you can always come back to and clean up. Use your, use your eraser to kind of clean up the contour. You know? And sometimes the smudging is really nice. You could always... I mean, I like the imperfections of the drawing. I like seeing the scribbles and the messiness of it because, you know, the imperfections I find beautiful. I mean, we as human beings are so imperfect. It's just, isn't it funny that we strive for perfection in our work when we are imperfect? So how does an imperfect person make a perfect work of art? <laughs> but yet we, you know, we try. <laughs> because we care. Okay, so I think this bird is done. What do you think? Yay, so Ode to the American Robin. All right, well, thank you so much for joining.